Chris, WahhabiKing.com, and I am super excited to bring you some new quantum products. Uh, now, these are for the micro quads, which are kind of setting the standard for FPV. Always was, uh, you know, bigger, larger quads, 300 mils, went 270, 250. Everyone's now pushing some 180 uh, racers in that frame, but there's a huge community out there pushing these smaller 80 mil, 100 mil, 110 millimeter FPV quads that are using brush setups. Now we had a little multi-Wii uh, FC board that had a built-in DSM-2 receiver and some FETs on it, and a lot of people were able to build some of these, uh, I don't want to call them toy class, but smaller class uh, uh, multi-copters that are running full multi-Wii, uh, using them, flying them around, doing aerobatics with them. A lot of 3D printed frames are available online. You can just download, print off your frame. Works with six, seven, eight millimeter motors, uh, but the, the FETs on the earlier ones really couldn't handle the bigger motors. We've went in and revamped it to cater towards this huge community that's pushing out with all these new quads. Uh, and these micro and this is the the quantum pico 32. now what this is is four escs uh, brushed escs at 4.3 amps per fet dsm2 dsm x compatible on the receiver built in and a full 32-bit clean flight fc all built into one tiny little board this thing is just tiny that's a uh, your standard 8 by 20 um, uh, millimeter motor you can see how small that is so uh, it also has a micro USB on this so you don't have to worry about uh, FTDIs or adapters or drivers this just plugs in and works with clean flight now this is built by quantum but it was designed and and we uh, we built it with uh, Oversky which if you take a look at clean flights page right on the bottom is one of the sponsors so it's a fully supported board when you plug it in uh, through uh, clean flight it's an amazing little uh, uh, piece of kit right there, and you can just do build and make some amazing little tiny quads with this. Now, what can you do with that? We wanted to have, uh, bring in some other products that could help you make uh, you know, an awesome little quad, and I've got one right over here I'll, I'll, I'll demo. Uh, so besides this board, we brought in some 8 millimeter motors, which are perfect for these 4.3 amp ESCs. So uh, normally, uh, some of the smaller quads are, are 6 millimeters for the little toy ones. Uh, 7 millimeters are, are kind of the average. And then the powerhouses that are running, you know, a little bit larger battery, 320 mil single cells or 500 single cells, um, uh, uh, the eight millimeter motors. To go along with these motors, and we have these in stock, they're clockwise and counterclockwise rotation for best efficiency. To go along with these motors, we have some custom uh, molded up high efficiency 60 mil props that are just absolutely perfect matched with these particular motors. So you can really design some really nice long flight time. We're talking eight, 10 minute flight time uh, little micros with this, uh, with this setup right here. Now, of course, if you already have a frame and you just want to update it to, uh, to work with um, uh, Clean Flight, you can just do that and drop in the new FC. Uh, just bind it up with your favorite uh, DSM, DSM X compatible transmitter or module in any other type of radio via Tyrannus uh, or 9XR or anything like that. So I've actually uh, built one up right over here and we'll just demo the flight on it. I'm using uh, these exact motors on that. Uh, I've got uh, just a small, I think about a, a 280 mil uh, a battery on there you can see the FC in there now there's a couple things on this frame it's a sneak peek it's coming be patient I wouldn't wait on these because these are gonna sell out hot and fast as, as the combos you can 3d print up uh, a lot of your own frames but we're actually developing and making a little tiny H frame that goes along with this setup so you can do your own FPV there's some innovation uh, in this particular frame uh, where it actually comes with different adapters so you can use a little bit different FPV gear and different batteries the way that it, uh, snaps and works on there um, as well as there's some real innovation right here on the front on the FPV cam. There's other cams on the market that are very similar to this particular one, but this thing is boasting some huge specs in comparison, and the price is, is uh, unbelievable. At this. As a matter of fact, it's going to set the standard for FPV cams in this class. This is 600 TVL versus anything else normally this small that's integrated is 480 TVL. This is also full 25 milliwatt. Anything else that is in this form factor all in one like this is normally about nine milliwatts if you were to actually measure it. So we've got almost double the transmitting power, a lot better camera on this. It's a, a 600 TVL and you can really see the difference. The other awesome benefit to this small micro all built-in cam is it's true 40 channel, uh, which includes race band. So you got your standard four and your race band. Uh, fully selectable with little LEDs on the back, but that's sneak peek. We're going to get into more information on this particular cam and the frame as they come out. Don't hold off on ordering this stuff up uh, because you can 3D print and use other stuff on the market. We're waiting for certifications and some other things on, on these other components. I just wanted to show you what is coming, what's trending, what's hot. And once you fly one of these little tinies and realize that it flies just like a bigger 250, but you know you can put this and your transmitter in a single case, walk around, go FPV at lunch, go back to your office, just do it at your park. You're never going to go back. These things are just absolutely epic and awesome. Now, I've got my computer set up right over here um, with Clean Flight running, and I wanted you to be able to see uh, this actually uh, uh, link up and work with Clean Flight so you realize that this is, this is not a toy FC. This is 
full 32-bit clean flight. I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. Let it connect. Auto connects, and there you can see it on the screen. I've got the, uh, the connection right over here, and you've got full, uh, what's nice on that, you got full uh, ports, uh, configurations, uh, PID tuning for these smaller quads. A lot of them are narrower or longer, or, or depending on that, you want to uh, change your PIDs, you can do that. And of course, what's Im uh, important with these particular uh, ones that have uh, brushed uh, or, or corded motor uh, FCs, um, I'm sorry, ESCs built into them, is the, uh, the driving uh, uh, hertz or, or the range. Most of them are, are selectable. You can actually select what you want to drive these motors at. We have the default set at uh, 4,000 kilohertz, um, but it's selectable between two and 32, depending on your particular motor. Uh, it, it's a, a trade-off between heat and efficiency. Uh, we found 4,000 to be the, the most widely used, so that's the default on that, but you can just go into the CL and change that uh, to match your particular motor, 6,000, 8,000, or whatever you want in between. Uh, so it's amazing little FC. I'll just come right back up to set up and you can see it, it's all working right there. So this is the new, uh, the Quantum Pico 32. Enough of me talking, let me show you how stable it is. I've got it uh, bound up to my 9XR and I'm just using a uh, orange uh, DSM compatible uh, module on this. We'll take it for a test flight.